What's up guys, it's Rocky here. Welcome back to Game of Cosplay. Today we have Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. As I said in one of my previous videos, I was going to get into the Extreme Z Battle and the one we're going to jump into is the Extreme Z Battle. Gogeta, because we do have Gogeta and I want to see how far we can get with this current Fusion Team. And also, if you guys enjoy Dragon Ball Legends content, I do my very best to upload Dragon Ball Legends every single day at 5 p.m. Central Time. So hit that notification bell to get notified as soon as I upload any other anime games just like today. And let's try to get to 15 likes on today's video. It's very much appreciated. We are on the road to 5,000 subscribers. And we're trying to get there as fast as we possibly can. It is a grind that I'm doing for you guys. We're going straight in to this battle and see what we got going on. Ooh, a rainbow Gogeta, huh? So we're going to go ahead and switch to this team. All right, let's Since do I'm this. able to use this team now, this is going to be a much better team compared to the uh, Super Saiyan God Goku, which was kind of just the odd man out, wasn't able to do a lot of damage there. I'm just going to flip these so we can get that little boost. And we can also get these. So we'll be able to, we should be able to super attack every single time. So that was the main goal that I wanted to get to. And we're just going to truck on through this. As you can see, Gogeta's been uh, the one that's been saving my butt. Both my LRs. Being able to pull one of each on the banners is very useful to me. Because if I did not have them, I probably wouldn't be at the power level that I am at now with my team. So that way I wouldn't be able to grind out a lot of the stuff. That I'm able to do. So I had a very, very decent team. And it's not even, like I said, it's a, it was a decent team at the time. So that should tell you a lot. And we're just going to get some supers off, some ultimates off. The more of the better. As I'm just playing Dokkan pretty casually, doing some stuff, grinding out a few things, but I've been playing a lot of Apex Legends. So if you guys want to see some Apex Legends content, make sure you guys go subscribe to the channel. Link in the description box below. That one is going to be in my Gaming with Sports channel because that follows the, um, to me, it follows the esports community. So I have that going there. And we're also getting some free Dragon Stones. We'll be hopping in on that, probably that LR Vegeta banner again. What I'm doing casually is um, I'm doing about 25 battles a day to get about 25 Chrono Crystals a day. Really, really still on the Chrono Crystals. Getting about 25 Dragon Stones slowly but surely a day because of all the games that I currently play. When I tell you I'm grinding, I am so grinding. So, a little bit of a story on that. It is, I'm bringing some content that revolves around the Lego game, the Lego, it's called Lego Zero Legacy, and that's a mobile game. I have that with Game of Kids. Um, another game is Elite Squads by Tom Clancy. Got that going on. I've got Borderlands in the works. I'm going to be saving up a bunch of videos and getting that ready for Game of Cosplay to all. And also got my World of Horror Gaming, which is going to be all my zombie stuff, which I'm going to be getting into after this. I'm going to be revisiting the Dark Days of... Um, <laughs> I've lost train of thought. The Dark Days game that's a mobile game, uh, and it's pretty much like the survival game. Why can't I think of the other one? The other zombie RPG game that's available. It's part of the survival series. They have a western one as well. I just can't think of it off the top of my head. I just had it. I literally just saw it in my mind for a second and then it just left my mind. But that game as well. Pretty simple grind here. I would have loved to have done this live stream, but currently right now I can't do that. So that's why we're recording this and getting into the action. As you guys can see, I'm moving with a fairly good ease here. We're just going to collect these Extreme Z Battle Medals because we need it for our Gogeta. I think I have them at like level 130, 125, or 130. So we're doing we're doing some damage here. I think we should be able to get pretty far. We should be able to, with no problem. All right, let's do this. And by far, this is what I, I love running the Fusion teams on Dokkan. I actually was doing it before on my previous account. It's just something I absolutely love doing. The fusion team is really fun to run on here. I enjoy it a lot. And now, especially with the new, these 
kind of they're not new new but they are new is this Gogeta and Vegeta so we're gonna get some damage going with that ultimate here By far, my favorite thing that they do is that uh, if they're below, I think it was 30% or 50% health, they get that that pretty much that ultimate attack right off the bat. Or I should say the super ultimate attack as a bonus attack to get down in there. So we're gonna be we're gonna be able to do some damage. We might be able to finish this in one one go right here. So close, so close. It's not bad. It ain't bad. We got it on this one. We got it on the second one. Nor am I a professional on Apex Legends. I am far from it. I am working on getting better, but I am far from any kind of professional level of Apex. I just enjoyed having the game, and I know I can make some pretty enjoyable content. And I actually won this last match by pretty much outliving the person. We got two. I got two kills in the like last part of the. The, the rounds and literally I don't know how but they were underneath us and it was just me and another person we survived till the end I ended up dying like right at the last second because the, the circle completely closed and I was able to still survive to be the champion so that felt pretty good there's a couple other wins that I've done too that have not been recorded but that's the only one that i have recorded which will right, be on that channel the uh, world of sports gaming building it up the goal for that channel is to hit 100 subscribers by the end of the year it's gonna be a grind but it's gonna be well worth it and we are just getting some st uh, other games like uh wwe mayhem is gonna be on there mainly on there as well i love playing that game don't really enjoy watching it too much these days, but I enjoy the wrestling games. The wrestling games have always been fun. Uh, maybe I could do some OG WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2006, 2007 one day. I think that'd be incredible to add to Gaming with Cosmic to all. Or just the World of Sports Gaming channel. The easier that way. And the reason I'm niching down is because not everybody wants to watch these specific channels all the time. So maybe you're in the mood to watch some of the sports games that I have. Maybe you're in the mood to watch some reaction videos that I create. Maybe you're in the mood to watch some vlogs. I am very versatile as a content creator as I possibly can be. It's something I love doing and it's something I will continue to do as long as I live. So if you want to join that journey, feel free. It is free to subscribe. Not, not anything too intense. And the more, uh, oh, I, don't know what, I messed that up. Oh, we still got it though. Let's see. This is the best option. But yeah, the more content I'm producing for you guys is, to me, it's just more fun that I have. I love content creation. There's a couple videos that I have in the storage bank. Like I said, I mentioned Borderlands 3. I definitely want to hop back on Borderlands 3, but I've been so occupied with Apex that I've literally just grinded out of stuff like a bunch of stuff like that and also dead by daylight is another game that i love love playing but right now i'm charging up the laptop so i can record some more of this gameplay that i've been doing for apex so i'm starting to average about one win a day one champion or yeah one win a day i don't know why i said champion but one win a day is, is it's a progress compared to where i was a month ago which was getting zero kills and what else Getting zero kills and having to jump in about five to six matches. Now I'm probably jumping into about three or four matches and I'm at least getting, I mean, there'll be the times where I don't get kills and that's like right at the beginning or something. If I strategize, if we as a team strategize it incorrectly or, and I usually average about one to two kills now, sometimes three, but I'm not going to say that because that's more rare than what I'm getting right now. But uh, there's some things I'm also bringing to Dragon Ball Legends. I'm trying to figure out if I really want to do the showcases on PvP now that they have that training mode. I don't know if it's worth it to me to be. Uh, it's gonna be. It's I can still. It's not that I don't. I can't do the showcases. It's the fact that um, doing the showcases now is gonna be pretty much maxed out, maxed out almost. But then again, not really. 
I don't know. I'm confused. I really need your guys' help on that. On what you guys want to see. If you guys want to see those showcases, I can still do those showcases. I can do it. What is that for that? That percentage? Because getting a maxed out character right now, you'd have to spend so much money. If any new character that comes out, you'd have to spend hundreds of dollars to, to max out a character. That's for sure. So I can still do the showcase for you guys for pretty much the average player, free to play player. The majority of the time, I am free to play most of the time. Unless something pretty intense comes out, like LF Majin Vegeta, we'll leave it at that. Um, but other than that, I, I mostly play free to play. I've played since day one. I have not skipped a beat with playing every day. Um, I just the only thing that I've slowed down with Dragon Ball Legends is the PvP side. I haven't played PvP in a couple months, but I definitely do want to hop back in on PvP. It's just only just for the rewards um, in the showcases. It's just I need you guys' opinion on that. And uh, also, am plan my plans for the rest of this year is to try to get an Xbox Series X as well as a PS5 for you guys to bring you guys brand new console games on gaming with cosplay to all. And what I'm gonna do on that channel is when that new game comes out that I end up getting really involved in, I want to be able to straight gun through it and. Uh, Let's see, we don't have very great options here. But straight gun through it, kind of like playing that the story until it's finished and doing parts like that all in one go. I think you guys would enjoy that. For example, if I play the new Star Wars Squadrons game, we're going to play the story mode and it's just going to be back to back to back to back videos on there, which I'm still going to produce content on this channel. It's just I want that to be more flowy with games that come out and games that, like all the games that I play. For example, I've never played Gears of War. I definitely want to hop on Gears of War, so you guys may see some, see some gameplay on that in the original form, most likely, I hope. Um, unless my Elgato doesn't work with it, but I do want to do it on the original Xbox 360, and this will be our final fight right here. Uh, but that is what I plan on doing, just giving right, you guys tidbits and discussing this. with you guys while we grind out these Extreme Z battles. We're going to stop at 10, give it a good even finish there, and then we'll move on to doing it on another time right here i'm putting gogeta in the middle to get those boost for our panels there and then we're gonna go ahead and get this off we're gonna go ahead and get right there and then that gives us with our red orbs and get some another uh, super tech off come on go film it now and also be ready for the trio i honestly would recommend Saving your Chronos on Dragon Ball Legends for the trio. I would recommend probably not going all in on this LR uh, Mod uh, LR Angel Vegeta banner. I honestly would wait till the next banner that drops on Dokkan Battle. But I go in it because right now I'm able to because I know I have a bunch of Dragon Stones in right now. That's why I still do it. And it provides extra content for you guys to watch on the channel. Because you guys know I love content creation. And it's been something I've been doing for... 2007, 13 years now. Going on 13 years. Actually, it is 13 years. Alright, the fiance is about to be on the way home. So, that's going to wrap up pretty much right after this. It's going to wrap it up, and now I'm going to get to some console gameplay. And that's the cool thing that I'm kind of balancing to is now I've gotten to the point where what I'm going to probably do is do some voiceover recording on Game of Cosmos to all. So I can still record for you guys while the kids and the fiance are here and they play games with us and we'll be Dead by Daylight stuff as well, which will also be put over onto my uh, World of Horror gameplay. Sheesh, in the middle of doing this. Okay, we got that to do right now. But, uh, ooh, so it looks like I'm going to have to strategize a little bit better because we could get knocked out right here. Let's go ahead and switch this around like this. Get this super attack off. We may be able to make it through, possibly. I don't know. It's kind of worrisome. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see. Come on. Don't die on me. Don't die on me. Get this super attack off. I was paying attention so much to you guys. And another thing I want, the reason why I wanted to do this is because I can have conversations with you guys like this on what you guys want to see, what you guys may want to see, what I'm going to be doing, what I'm going to be grinding out, and um, just getting feedback from you guys is the main goal for everything like this. Plus, I'm also providing you with doing this kind of content and having 
to be able to do this at such an early time in Dokkan, you could say, because I mean, I'm level rank 144 with some with two LRs, but uh, you know, we're we're working our way up on 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 here. Let me see the shop real quick, the exchange shop. Do I have enough to get any characters? I don't think so, but I did want to look. Probably looking in the wrong spot. No, I'm not. All right, so we have 30 of those. Who do we want? Probably gonna go for this one. These are, what, isn't this an LR? Yeah. And another thing is too, I really hope this game lasts another five years with them. Keep continuously producing content like this. It makes me have high hopes for Dragon Ball Legends because they're really in a good spot right now with the content and both of them are just incredible and this is always going to be higher up because there's more of a fan base for this one because it was the first Dragon Ball Z games to mobile that was very very successful and I don't I don't knock on them whatsoever it's just they, they're two different games with the same characters and for example I love the animations a lot more in the gameplay from Dragon Ball Legends but I also love what they're doing with Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle because I used to play Dokkan all the time I just wanted to pretty much refresh. I gave that account away, and then we refreshed. I wish I didn't give that account away now. Did not give that account away now because I probably could have had, if I logged in every day like I normally do with the games that I play for free to play, I would still have probably a thousand Dragonstones saved up just from logging in for like what two years. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, subscribe, and favorite, share with a friend or two or three. As always, live free, work hard, and base on. Join me tomorrow for some more Dragon Ball Legends content. Bye, guys. For more daily content, subscribe here. If you want to see more of my daily life and behind-the-scenes stuff, subscribe here. If you want to see some other games I play, click here. Also, if you want to check out my main channel for dance videos, topics, and solo adventures, click here. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell to get notified as soon as I upload new content on all my channels. Bye, guys.